Alright YouTube, this is Mr. Cobra 55 with another riveting episode of Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. Now in this episode we should probably be doing about three levels because all of them are very short. Alright, so first up is a Ah, damn it. Alright. Anyway, first up is the speedway. Which um I didn't really have any problems with in the test run through. But anyway, I'll run through it once, show you where everything is, and if I fail, I'll just cut that out until I win. Then we will be doing the level boss. Um, Dr. Shemp, I couldn't think of his name for a little bit. Which is a fairly short level. Then we will be doing the next homeworld. Which is tied for my favorite. So anyway, we go into this, yeah, the speedway here. Night Flight! Um, well, as I remember, the fodder are crows. Well, actually, there is no fodder, considering it's a speedway, but if there were fodder, I would think they would be crows. Don't ask me why, I just think they would be. Or maybe chickens with jetpacks. So, anyway, you just fly around, get the rings. This is actually a very easy speedway, in my opinion. Because there is nothing that you actually have to chase down to get. I mean, these you just have to fly in the right direction and hit flame at the right time. So this is a very easy speedway. Now if you excuse me for just a second, my volume is blurring so I'm going to pause it while I turn that down. Alright, that is way better. I can hear myself talk for a while there. Okay, so now just fly through these, and you are on lighthouses, which you just flame. Uh, and then there's one here, one right here, one right here, one right here, one here, and. Boom! Wasn't that easy. And you can understand why I didn't do the speedway the whole time. Alright, so next we will be going on to Dr. Shemp. The level boss. Oh, by the way, um, I don't actually have my timer with me, so I don't know how long this thing is going to be, so if it's a little bit longer than 15 minutes, I'll cut out the ending. So if it suddenly cuts out, that's why. Just thought I'd warn you in advance. But anyway, here we are on Dr. Shemp. Uh, this guy is actually easier. The part leading up to the boss fight is easier than last time, in my opinion. But the boss fight is a little bit harder. Those are your only enemies. And they will actively try to run off cliffs. Like that guy just did, you still get the jump. So, you can either just charge into him or avoid him. And you still get the jump. Uh, yeah, you gotta kill these guys though. Crap. See if we can. Oh no. Missed him. But you can see the jumps popping up behind him. Oh, you got a few of these chests over here. And, yeah. No, damn it. Alright, I'm really off today. Ah, I tried to flank her, but that didn't work. See, there they go, right off the cliff. No, yes, I realized I wasn't really, or I should have not got hit there, but oh well. I don't know what I want to say. Alright, I gotta turn down the volume again. It seems like every time I turn it down, it just goes right back up. Okay, did it? Yeah, that's about where it should be. Just watch though, it's gonna get really loud again. Yeah, looks like no matter how much I turn it down, it just somebody always needs to turn it back up. Ah, crap. Yeah, I expected her to be easier. Okay, so then you go up into this tower. Grab the. Or something. And 
there's 25 over there. You think this would throw this rock off balance, but it doesn't. It's very nice. Glide down to this area. Four jumps of the key. And and you are at the boss. Make sure you grab that one. This guy thinks he's so cool. You don't know what it's been like listening to him over and over. But I'll tell you one thing. He should watch his back. Help you out, rather than the kids. I mean, be kind of nice. I mean, if somebody is trying to take over the world or just being an ass, you don't go there on yourself if you can get help. What the hell? Oh, it doesn't really matter. Alright, like I said, this guy is a little bit tougher than last time, but he's still pretty easy. Just hit him in the back fire and you will get him every time. And there he goes up there. Smaller area. Yeah, he does one jump around before he'll hit you. And then this part gets really easy. And boom. Now you just have a few more things to do, and you will be done with this level. And again, you can see why I didn't just use this level. Drop there. Put the key in the lock. Grab the 25. Drop it again. Grab that. That. Drop her. Alright, so I'm probably going to be editing this out for time's sake, because you can obviously see where that last jump is. I will grab it. And boom, 300. And all one dragon. See? And you have just finished. Peacekeepers, that's it. Alright, so we're gonna go to the welcome portal. Show. And there. Now we'll start on. Um. Magic Crafters, that's the next one. And jump. And we talk to Gosnald. The worst name ever. Except for maybe Gaylord Q Tinkle Link. But who names their kid Gosnald anyway? And if your name is Gosnald and you're offended by this, I am sorry. I mean it's not your your fault your name is Gosnald. Unless it is, then what are you thinking? Or what were you thinking? Now you got this thief who is probably the most annoying thief in the game because you have about three seconds to catch him and if you don't then you have to go back and try it again. So he'll might take you or he might take you if he tries, might not. Who knows? Welcome to Magic Crafters. I want you to release the dragons, reclaim our treasure, and recover the eggs from those pesky blue thieves. 33 dragons, the digits match up again. In the Mario Party, that would get you a nice 5 points. Why doesn't it get you that here? And I don't care that coins aren't used as currency in this world, I still want them. These guys will make your life hell. Actually, not that bad, but they they do make it so that you can't get to them. There you have ones like this in the third game who will do kind of the same thing. They make platforms move, they make stairs fall, they one of them makes the uh, metal enemy big. 
Alright, so then you got another thief here. Which is actually, there's only two thieves in this level, so it's not that bad. Alright, well, anyway, I'll get him later. Kill those two. And talk to this dragon. When you see arrows like these, you can charge along with them to begin a supercharge. Supercharge? Excellent. Go ahead, try it. Now, earlier in the game, on the first speedway, when I said that your legs turn into wheels, and I was wrong, because I thought that's actually what happened, I know what happens in the second third. Anyway, um, that is what happens when you run along here. Uh, no, I, I want to continue. Anyway, so those of you who thought that you wouldn't be able to see that, here you go. Legs turn into wheels. And you can crash into those and break them without actually having to do with the normal way. Have these rescue that dragon. Who tells you about speedways? This portal leads to a special place where you can learn to fly. I remember when I was a young dragon, earning my wings. Learn to fly. Got it. <laughs> Alright, so now we go back and... I will go get that thief now. And that... these two chimes. I didn't forget you. No, I didn't. Oh yeah, there's that guy there. Ah, oh, crap. There we go. Yeah, that guy's kind of annoying because you gotta have to do it. Well, not really perfectly, but you gotta make sure you don't fall off into the thing. Alright, this is one of my favorite things in the game. Just watching this guy laugh at you. I mean, he's not attacking, he's not. He's just laughing at you. That's like suicidally stupid. I mean, what's so, uh, dude? Oh well. <laughs> I mean, it's like you pointing and laughing at Chuck Norris. You just don't do it. Yeah, that guy there too. Buster Jones up there. There's a little cave right behind the, that guy, as you can see. Until he drops it, charge at him. And for those of you who can time it right, I have a few times. You will actually, or can actually get launched in the air pretty high if they, if you're charging and they uh, do that. Alright, now we go over to this cave. Where you get that extra life. And, uh, oh, I don't have the key yet, but that's where you put the key. Okay, so now you're gonna want to go back up here. And this is another thing that takes a little bit of skill. Yeah, uh, that's how you get that gem right there. Or, not gem, but that chest. Uh, I'll kill everyone over here and then get it. That's the first time I've ever said I or I'll kill everyone. I don't stand a violent out of context. Okay, grab that gem. And there's a secret area over here where you have the key to the chest that we saw earlier. Now for anybody who's wondering what that thing is over there, that cave and how you get to it, that's the beginning of the level. You just go in reverse. Uh, whoops, missed it. There's the guy over there. Ooh, that's the level boss, Blowhard. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention fodder. They're mountain goats. Any mountain goats. And yes, his name is Blowhard. So if anyone thinks that's funny, so do I. I, I actually think it's pretty funny. Alright, now that we got everyone over here, we can get that chest. 
why did I point? You guys can't see me. Run back over here, up the hill, down the hill. Ah! Alright, so now we need that thief and we're missing 13 gems. So, jump, jump, fly. Um, where are those 13 gems? Uh, I'll get worry about this guy first. Alright, over here, so that he resets. I think he resets anyway. If he doesn't, screw him. It's easier if you come from that angle, I realize. And get the thief. So now we just need 13 gems. Where are they? I had them earlier. I mean, I'm not lost. I'm never lost. I know everything about this game. Uh, where? Oh yeah, there's some back there. Missing 10 gems. Somewhere around here. Come on. Oh! Is that a chest or is that the balloon? That was the balloon. Oh yeah, funny note, I think at this point actually you have enough gems to go on to the next world. Yep, or dragon eggs. Stay here, you don't want to go into beast makers yet. Beast makers is the bog world, I believe, and it is dream weavers, which is tied with this one, for my favorite. And it's nasty's world, and then the secret world. If I remember correctly. Come on. No, oh, I already got that one. Alright, so most of this will be cut out, probably. So I cannot find those last 10 gems for the life of me. Oh god damn it, I'm so stupid! How did I not think of this earlier? Alright, for those of you screaming at home, you probably, you have the right to do that. that this was just so incredibly stupid of me. I mean, this is on par with the time that, about three days after I learned how to ride a two-wheeler, my friend had convinced me to jump off of his uh, homemade bike ramp. Wow, I feel like an idiot right now. I'm gonna go slam my head into a wall, but not mine, because that would hurt. Stupid, 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 stupid. Alright, well, I'm done for today, so, uh, see you next time with Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. Yes, I'm gonna continue doing this for a little bit. Alright, that's enough. See ya. Or is it? Yeah, it is.